Hey guys, I'm back here with the video I've been plugging and going on this Jaguar. Uh, basically just aligning the hood and trying to get everything on. But I just wanted to share with some of you subscribers of mine that were kind of intrigued to see what it would look like when it's done. Um, and I'm there. Uh, it's basically from here, it's going to go to the body shop and all that. But I've got the hood fit and gapped. So I'm going to walk around the car and kind of <clears throat> show you guys the finished product. Um, I do have everything you guys see in this video, the bare metal, obviously I've worked on it one time or another. And some of them I have videos on, some of them I don't, some of them I just been trying to blow and go. So <clears throat> obviously this side of the car, you could see the lower rear quarter panel the upper sail panel, the bottom of the door, and the bottom of the fender. That was all metal worked and planished out and re-welded and fresh metal put in. Come around to the back on the passenger side. There was damage there and didn't fit the, the contour real well. So what I did is I planished it out and hammered it to where it fit into the original quarter panel. Nice. And obviously that gets a uh, like a belt belting or, you know, a welting in there. The back, obviously, you guys seen in another video, but I got the license plate. That is the original license plate deal, but the inside of the brackets I had to redo. Um, could just They were just so hacked up. As we move to the driver's side, the driver's side didn't need as much work <coughs> in the rear fender, but it definitely needed it in the front. So basically, all that up there has been replaced and new. Same with the sail panel. This door was in really good condition. I just had to gap it accordingly so my gaps are correct. And then this fender had severe damage um, in there and I worked it as best as I could. I probably should have done a little bit more with the fender off the car, but it's hard because the fender's so big, it, what happens to it, the, the bottom of the fender wants to roll in so you don't know where that's gonna line up to the door until it's welded on. Once it's welded on, the inner structure is right in there by that vent window and it's hard to get back there and planish it. But um, I got most of it. It had a lot of stretching going on so I had to heat shrink it and bring it back out to where it's at. But as you can see, as we look down the side of the car, it's, it's all in line and straight the way it should be. Um, both of these marker lights, the tops were rotted out. Top of that headlight was rotted out. And then the bottom of the headlight was rotted out. So I made that piece, that's all one piece. As you can see, it's spliced in here. And it's spliced in uh, right in here. Um, and I made it in one piece and I just kept the ring because I'm assuming water gets down inside there and it just rots out. So I got that taken care of. And obviously the front nose. And then I got the hood on and I got it all gapped. Um, up here I had a little bit of tight tight issue, but I got that fixed with the body line. Drilled the holes this morning, and last night I was working on the hood latch itself because this hood's so flimsy. So what I did is, I'll show you guys. I should have made a video on it, but the original latch down in there, all that bare metal you see, I actually got one from a local shop here in town that they pulled out of a car for me and I had to fabricate that. So I had the latch but I didn't have that little wing support that actually goes around the frame. But it's got the hood all dialed in and the firewall and stuff and then obviously I had my bracing in there so when they go to pull the car off. But with this thing coming in, I mean it shuts nice and just like it should. I mean, I had to do a little work from the latch from England. Um, There's some flaws in there that I found that I've, I kind of re-engineered so it opens and moves correctly. But other than that, that's the finished product of this car going to the paint and body shop. Um, the top fits really well, where that's the problem we had from that California body over here that the inside these rear wings from side to side was an inch and a half narrower so this top actually sat down on top which this gets painted so this was obviously the you know the original car and then um the doors Let's see if i set this up on the tripod and show you guys 
So the doors I got to where they shut pretty well. <clears throat> and they open pretty nice. But obviously I did all that in there in another video. And these doors are pretty much back to stock. So hope you guys enjoyed this video of the finished product of the old XK140. Some of you guys will appreciate it. It's not going back to a junkyard. <laughs> it's um, it's actually going to live to see another day. And uh, I thank you guys for, you know, follow along. It wasn't a complete build of the entire car because there's it's just so much. And some of it is totally custom in the, in the line of me lining everything up and pulling my gaps to where the doors open and close. If you were to take measurements off of a stock car that's never been touched, my numbers will probably be off. But the ultimate goal here is when you stand back and look at the car, it's back together the way it looks and the way it should look. Um, so from here, I I think uh, it's a pretty much wrap. Um, on to the next, uh, hopefully a survivor. Um, so hope you guys like this video. If you're not a subscriber, go down to the link below and click the su subscription button. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram. Go over to my website. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, it's, uh, it's a passion to do something like this, but it's definitely instant gratification when this is the, the finished product. Um, when, you, when something rolls into your shop or your garage and it looks like this in pieces, and it comes back like this, the way that basically the customer bought it or started the project and drove it in and it went through multiple shops, this is the finished product. It's definitely a huge undertaking, but it's instant gratification to, to see this particular object back to the way that it should be. So um, thank you guys for, for following along and if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out, but um, on to the next build and uh, hope to see you guys and hear from you guys soon. So don't be, uh, don't be a stranger, definitely, you know, reach out to me. Um, if you have any questions, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I, I'd rather not, you know, educate people on doing this so you don't end up or you don't do this. And I have more customers coming to me with stuff like that. Um, we could save a lot of these, these cars for this reason. And a lot of people think they know what they're doing, but they have no clue. I mean, if you watch some of these videos on this car that I did, I mean, some of it was a huge undertaking. And to stand back and just see see the car sitting there in one piece again, it's it's a it's a it's definitely an honor to get there. So you guys stay tuned, and uh, I will uh, definitely get some videos going back your way um, with uh, the next projects coming in.